and welcome back to Mads Tea Party, the channel run by a girl who does not drink tea. I'm Madison and today I'm going to be talking about The Incredibles Wishable Collection. If you've never heard of Wishables before or you don't know what they are, I have a whole separate video about that, but they are small, like four inch tall, limited edition plush toys that Disney releases once a month, and this month's collection was based around The Incredibles. If you've ever seen one of my Wishable review videos before, this is going to be a very similar format. I'm just going to rank the Wishables and give my general thoughts on each one. This one is a bit different, however, because I was not able to get the full set of these Wishables. Usually I try to get the full set of all of the Wishables in a collection, and usually they're fairly easy to feel. This one, however, was the exception. I know some people have had success feeling the Wishable bags, however, I did not. I have zero suggestions on how to feel for these Wishables because genuinely, I guessed, and I guessed wrong. I ended up getting three Violets and no Mr. Incredible, no Mrs. Incredible. I did get the variant for Elastigirl, but I did not get like regular Mrs. Incredible. And I would have gone back for them so that I could get the full set to show you guys, but the problem is money. So if you guys haven't heard, Wishables are now $12.99 if you buy them in person, and they're $9.99 this set was if you bought them on Shop Disney. I personally like to go to Disney Springs and feel the bags myself, so I was paying $12.99 for each of these Wishables, and genuinely, I just don't really like this set, and I didn't think it was worth going back, especially since I had no clue how to feel the bags, so it's possible that I could have just gotten another duplicate. So, for that reason, I did not go back, I did not get those Wishables, I won't be talking about them today, just a heads up. This is one of the weakest Wishable sets that I've seen in a very long time. I think it's honestly really disappointing what they did with this set. All of the Wishables look a little bit weird, and they didn't put Edna in the set, which honestly is a crime. I would have been fine with missing a member of the Incredibles actual family and getting Edna instead. Right off the bat, I think this was just a weird wishable choice. I don't like the collections that have no park connections at all. If it's an IP-based attraction that the wishable collection is based on, I don't care, dude. You can still do it well and integrate the theme park history and environment to the set. There are a few that I just think were really lazy, and this is one of them. The Star Tours set is a great example of a set that was an IP attraction, but still brought in the theme park um, because you had Rex, you had the ride vehicles. It was wonderful. This is just characters. There's nothing specifically California Adventure about this collection. It's literally just the Incredibles characters. and. I think that's disappointing. All right, so as usual, before I rank the Wishables, this is the bag that they came in. Honestly, not too bad of a bag. You can see I was like feeling it like crazy. It's got creases all over it. But yeah, this is the front of the bag and this is the back of the bag. Now I'm gonna get into ranking the Wishables. Again, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible are not in the rankings. Number four was Dash. Nobody asked for this. Um, his hair is wild. Uh, honestly, it kind of fits his character though. So it, unless you're looking at it from the back, it looks like Dash. So I don't really mind that. He's cute. And that, that's the purpose of Wishables. So he does fit the Wishable criteria. One thing I will say about this collection is I love that they embroidered the masks on. I just wish that they had embroidered the Incredibles logo. That would have been the cherry on top. It would have been just the little, the little details that would have made this collection just a little bit better. Number three is Elastigirl. So this is the variant for the collection. They had Mrs. Incredible and then they also had the variant being Elastigirl. So I got the variant. I really wanted this variant because it's the only one that's not like in the regular Incredible family suits. But it ranked number three uh, just because of her face. I, I think it's really weird. Her uniform is not that soft material, which is kind of stinky. 
Um, but I don't really mind just because Elastigirl is really cool. But yeah, I really hope that they don't use this material for a lot of things in the future, just because it makes them less soft and plush. Her hair is very big. There's a lot going on here. Her face just kind of weirds me out. Uh, her eyes are brown and the others are blue. And I feel like it just clashes with the mask. It almost looks red when you look at pictures. And I just, I'm not really a big fan. I think it looks really weird. So I think if they were gonna make her eyes brown, like I assume in the movie was, it should have been a lighter brown, uh, just to kind of contrast with the mask a little bit more. Also, she's got like the triple chin of the century. So our thick queen is thick in all the wrong places. Not too bad. She just isn't really as cute because of her face. All right, number two. Now we're getting into the wishables from this collection that I actually really like. So number two is Violet and she actually turned out really cute. I love Violet. And then number one, to probably nobody's surprise, was Jack-Jack. This is the standalone, no blind bags for him, easy peasy. He's got his little cookie with him, which I love. I love that he has the little cookie. It's just perfect. And honestly, we love Jack-Jack. So he's the best in the collection, honestly, by far. So this has been a shorter wishable review than normal just because of my failure to collect the whole collection. So I'm sorry about that, uh, but I will be back next month for another wishable review. Nobody knows yet what the collection is going to be. Fingers crossed it's something more park related than this. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with a friend or consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Friday. So check that out and I will see you guys next week. Bye.